The next change we can make when we're looking at stuff in Lightroom, I'm going to zero all these guys back out again, is uh, in, underneath the color tools. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Let's zero out. You're supposed to be able to just double tap on the, or maybe it's tap and hold uh, to get that. My thumbs might just be too big. That might just be the problem, too. So let me just use my little point pointer. Okay, so we're real close. All right, so now I'm going to go over to the next bank of tools, color. And let's look at how color impacts. And you have three choices, black and white, grading, and mix. For this project today, we're going to just skip, forget the black and white exists. Now, white balance is how your camera, doesn't matter what kind of camera, how the camera reads the amount of light coming in and how it balances it out to make it look like daytime or nighttime. So when, my, when I took this picture in the store on temperature, which is from blue to yellow, this is the rating it gave me. And on tint, which is from magenta to green, that's the rating it gave me. And the other choices we have under here are saturation, vibrance, and those, that's what we're going to look at now, okay? So the first one is if I slide around the temperature. If I slide it in the opposite direction, you can see it adds a ton of yellow. And it's actually measuring what's called Kelvin. It's measuring um, the visible spectrum of light. If I go in the opposite direction, it makes the whole picture look like it's got blue involved overlapping it, okay? In terms of this particular picture, I like things being fairly as I saw them. I don't need this picture to turn all blue or all yellow. Same thing down here. Tint. Positive tint makes things go magenta. Negative tint makes things go green. You'll notice whenever you're using the positive values on any of these things, and you're pushing things up, you'll start to see things look like they lose focus. That happens particularly with saturation. Let me get this back down to here. Get that right back down in the middle. So, okay, so I've reset my temperature tint. Now, here's where we see big differences. And this is one that you guys might like a lot, but I'm gonna warn you to really make choices about how you use this. So saturation takes all the colors at the exact same time and pumps them up. And at some point, it pumps them up too far. So sometimes you might want to pump it up just a little bit. And that looks good. But if I go up too far, what's going to happen is parts of the picture are going to look like they're out of focus. They're going to, the color is actually, the color information is being destroyed. It loses its um, detail. So you want to be very careful when you're using the saturation slider. The other slider you have is called vibrance. Vibrance is going to selectively bring up the colors that could handle being, um, having their saturation increased and also wouldn't be destroyed. So it tends to protect skin tones. It pretends to um, think that we're hanging on to a, um, a portrait of a person. So if you watch, some of the more uh, skin tone -y type colors are not going to blow out. But in the Vibrance tool, you can push up the color really high, make things be very bright, and get good changes. Okay.